One of the settings need to set up in the advanced subvendo is the payment portal. In this video, I'll gonna show you how to set the payment portal in version 5.1.3. There are a lot of changes in the payment portal. First, let's start with the pulse settings. There are two types of pulse settings. One is the automatic and the other one is the manual setup. For the manual setup, this is the old way of adding a pulse on which you must input the pulse and amount manually. It adds on in the option. While for the automatic setup, this setting is created so that the builder can identify the pulse status of the coin slot or bill acceptor. You may choose what machine you want to use or test the pulse of the coin slot or bill acceptor. Even the subvendo can be detected in this function. After you select the machine and acceptor type, just click the insert amount button and insert a paper bill into the bill acceptor. Then input the amount value and click save. It has already been added to the pulse setting options. In this part, you must set your pins for the acceptor wire and relay. To work the coin slot you must check the diagram and set here your pins used in the setup. If you enable this count or log not credited, it will reflect those coins not credited during the payment in the sales inventory breakdown. If you input the GPIO pin number here, it will show an image to guide you through the pin number sequence of the board. For the bill acceptor, you can also set here the pin for the bill or white wire to credit and the bill acceptor relay or the inhibit. Just ensure not to conflict the bill acceptor set pins to your assigned GPIO pins of the coin slot. You can also add an extra GPIO coin slot setup if in case you have a board with two switches for the RPI or OPI board pins. You create your own alias name for identification purposes. Just set your pins here and ensure that your assigned pins will not conflict with your previous setup. Click the Save Changes button to apply the settings. Now, you can select the payment portal setup for your main vendo. Check to enable it and reflect in the captive portal. Let's change the main vendo payment portal to the new one. And now, it reflects the second GPIO coin slot setup. Now, let's proceed to the Subvendo or LAN and Wired Payment Portal. If you have no idea regarding the Subvendo, you can check it or just click here to go directly to the article and check the diagram on our official website. I suggest to use the latest firmware in flashing the Arduino and Notem CU.
This part is very important to ensure that the connection is stable since this is also prerequisite if you set up the advanced subvendo. You will select type of payment portal here. Let's start with the open or auto accept connection, which your machine will accept all Adapi soft wired and wireless subvendo without any restriction. The second one is using MAC address to bind and lock the connection of the subvendo to the main vendo. Now, let's try to restart the wired and wireless and check if it will automatically connect to the machine. The wired subvendo already connected. The wireless still rebooting. And now, the two subvendo are connected in the machine. The third option is to set a unique token to your subvendo devices to lock the connection. Just set here the token and if you enable the low checkbox it will automatically set to the subvendo. Let's try to refresh the page and check if the connection already disconnected. The wired subvendo still connected, but the wireless already removed. Now let's check if it automatically connected to the main vendo using the token. And it works. Let's try to disable the checkbox and check if the subvendo still automatically connected to the main machine even if not included in changing the token. For the wired subvendo you need to remove first the LAN or power to disconnect in the main vendo. Disconnect the subvendo then uncheck the box and change the token immediately. Now let's test if the subvendo should not connect to the main vendo. And it works. To connect again the subvendo, first, need to open the connection and wait until the device will connect again to the machine. The wired already connected. Let's wait of the wireless to connect. That's it. It works. Change now the token to lock the connection. And ensure to check the box to apply the token changes to the subvendo. I will change the subvendo alias name for me to easily identify what subvendo I will assign on the advanced setup. Later, you will select here on what subvendo you want to use for the advanced setup. Thanks for watching and see you to another Adapisoft video tutorials.